So enough of me blathering on. Let's get this game started. Yeah, Frank setting up some um, nice. fancy little tuck clears and <laughs> just getting everything yeah. that he needs. Already getting a red rush, but it's been really nice for him because he had a lot of red on that right side there, Pack. Yeah, that red rush destroyed almost every red virus on the field. Didn't quite get that nice swim move right there. Frank is really tearing up this level six to start. That double red rush killed off almost every red virus on his field. And see what he does with this gets the lightning bolt he is destroying this right now he's just a really? handful of yellows and a red away from finishing it yeah um uh, meanwhile over on bidwell's side he's down to 15 viruses he had a little bit of a misdrop there with uh, some red blues i believe it was at the top of his board but he's since cleaned it up as frank out at 59 seconds but Bidwell really doing a nice job here with what he's been given. Pretty much no garbage on his board except for those reds there in his column four. But he's got those clear, cleared out. And he's just going to keep on trucking through this level six. I like what he did placing that yellow fragment on column number four. It looks like he's going to be setting up these horizontal clears. Right now he needs a double red to true, or not double red, double yellow. But okay, very nice horizontal clear to get both viruses. Not so sure he meant to put that there, but he's going to be able to clear this out from hor horizontally or from underneath, and he's going to be out of this level 6 in a minute 41. Yeah, which is still not a bad time. Um, but with Frank being out at 59 seconds, that it really puts Chris Bidwell here behind the 8 ball. Um, and Frank's been doing some really nice stuff with this level seven. You see he's down to just 10 viruses remaining now. And I love the way he took out those blues that opens up the the yellows. He could have sandwiched it in there, um, but he elects to clear them out individually. Yeah, and I saw a double red, and I just want, started to wonder if he was going to get another timely double red run. Not quite, but he's still getting everything he needs, and he's able to play pretty much everything he's been given. One more red, and he'll be out 227, sub two and a half. It's just insane. And, you know, we've been seeing it, seeing it all weekend long so far, so this is really great to see it carry over into this match. Frank is really putting on a show. Looks like he's going to set up the horizontal clear for those blues once he gets down to it. Bidwell down to just nine viruses remaining in his level seven. Love this double red that's going to be perfect for him. <clears throat> and that drop T from Frank really helps set everything up. Now he's got no more blue viruses in the middle of his board, but he's still got those blue fragments to worry about. But this is going to set up perfectly. Let's see how let's see how he attacks the middle of his board at this point. Oh, guess the timely double blue, just what he needed. Bidwell got out of his level seven at about a uh, it was a, a three twelve I think so he had his level seven was faster than his level eight at about a one thirty which is what you want to see so it's really encouraging for Bidwell I'm sure um, as he is doing whatever he can to drop this combo down and he might get it here if he drops the double blue he is going to get it nice little uh, combo there from Bidwell. Yeah, I like that he decided not to go after the horizontal on the blue viruses in columns one and two because at some point that probably would have required a double blue to keep his stack in order. And you don't want to depend on that, so it's probably a very good idea to just take those out the old-fashioned way. Yeah, absolutely. As Frank was out at a 402, and I'm, I got to say I'm loving this top line for him right now. Nice and diverse. Um, my only complaint about it is there's just a little bit more blue there than I'd like to see, but we know that Frank can do just about anything with this game, and it'll be interesting to see what he comes up with here. Yeah, it looks like the, that hor setting up that horizontal with the yellow was, was the best thing to do, but right now he does not have much access to yellow. That's the main concern of this board right now, but with these blue clears in the middle, he's going to gain access once again. Bidwell out of his level 8 at a 449 about uh, with a tiny little pause buffer in there. Um, 
it makes me wonder if he was mashing or if he was just holding on the start button or he let go too early or what, because we don't usually see that from him. Well, when you're when you're in a hurry, sometimes you do things you don't normally do. Mm -hmm. It's like when you speed run anything, really, some are you. Like, especially if it's a game that you played a lot as a kid, you have a certain muscle memory from when you played that game repeatedly over and over and over. And when you try to play it a different way, it doesn't come easily. Indeed, it does not always come by easily. But I tell you, um, Frank, uh, it looks like this, this board has come by easily for him. I love the setup there Ooh, to get the drop. Wow. Uh, offset fat log out at a 546. A he wins the first day. game. I love it. Looks like Bidwell may go ahead and finish this one out. Okay, no, he's gonna he's now sees that he's lost and is gonna top out. So we're gonna get ready for game two and then we'll be good to go. Mm-hmm. Looks like uh, Chris needs to reset his timer. There we go. We have readies from both players. And our countdown, three, two, one, pills. pills. Let's go. Medium fever for Frank and high off for BSG. And we're off some nice double opportunities for Frank early in this board. Bidwell has a few double opportunities of his own, but they demand some in-between clears and some possible horizontals in order to get them. Yeah, but Bidwell's done a really nice job with what he's been given. Uh, love that. I'm, I don't know. I don't know if I would have gone for the drop time. I think I would have just gone ahead and cleared out the yellows and the blues and negated the drop time. but. Um, it did set him up for the blue. It did drop some garbage onto his blue and his, or not garbage, uh, some beneficial pieces onto the blue in his column one. So, eh, not too terrible. A nice horizontal drop set up there from Bedwell. Looks like he's just going to take these blues out the old fashioned way, just regular vertical play. He's still got quite a bit of blue on his board, but it's all very neatly organized. Meanwhile, Frank is just about out of six once again. Yeah, he's just needing one more yellow. There it is, out at a 112. Um, Bidwell at seven viruses at that point. So about not too mid, not too big of a uh, a lead for Frank. But um, with this board, it's going to look like he's going to be able to open this up pretty quickly there, Pack. Yeah, the only problem is RNG is not being kind to him. It has not given him a whole lot of blue to play with. This nice, timely double blue, though, is just what he needs. He's going to be out at about a 140. A lot of red on this board for Frank. Um, but look at the... As, as soon as I mention the reds, he gets a, red, a double red rush. Um, which has already ended, so it's not as long as he probably would have wanted it to be, but still really fortuitous timing on that. And he's down to 10 viruses, um, looking at Bidwell's board. Fairly diverse. A lot of blue on that top line, though, the pack. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of blue to get through, and blue is a difficult color to depend on sometimes, but a couple of blue-reds would be great. There's the first one, and it looks like he's just going to go ahead and take the other red horizontal clear and not wait too long. It looks like he's just looking to clear this conventionally. And Frank is out at, what was that, a 237? 235. Okay. Yeah. Was and only a couple seconds off. Yeah. And it's only, only a, a couple Ooh. seconds slower than his last game, too. So Frank, yeah. again, once again, just on fire here. Would love to get maybe a double red or a manufactured one, and he is going to go the manufactured route and get this this L. Yeah, once he gets one more red. 
he just he's just stacking everything on top of everything, just trying to get what he needs. And he was starting to run out of room, but finally got the trigger pill he was looking for. Bidwell going to be out at 323, uh, about half a level behind Frank at the moment. Um, but I got to say, I love this top line for, for Bidwell. Um, the only thing I don't love about it now is the, the lack of yellow access. Yeah, it seems like lots and lots of red and a sprinkling of blue. This is going to set up a horizontal clear if he wishes to take it, and he does. So now he can so now he can figure out how he wants to attack these reds on the top of his board. There are definitely horizontal opportunities at hand, but it looks like he's going to stick with vertical play. Frank just had a really nice drop combo um into a I've been calling it a a, a trapezoid um with that with that extended top line of the fat log. It was just really amazing to see. He's just going to need one more blue and he'll be out pretty quickly. Come on, game. Come on, game. There Ooh, it is. Where are you? There you are. Added a 429. Yep. Let's see if Bidwell decides to put maybe a half red pill down on the middle of his board and to get the horizontal clear on that blue. Looks like he's not going to do that. Looks like he's just going to keep it straightforward. Would have loved to have seen Bidwell um, move one of those red yellows one one column over to the right. Um, would have enabled him to get the fat log and get the reds and the yellows out simultaneously. Um, but he does still manage to get both of them cleared out. So he is doing a great job here. Would love to just continue to see these blues and these reds drop for him. And it looks like he would prefer to have a red blue over a red yellow to clear that just, just to, for the sake of minimizing drop time and or using the most of the pill that he possibly can. Interesting start here for Bidwell on nine. Decides not to build his way up to the blue horizontal clear, which looks pretty smart right now in hindsight because he's really not getting a lot of blue pills to work with. Nice horizontal clear there. Yeah, red access is going to be a real issue here for Chris Bidwell as his only his only reds are in the, in the bottom three rows of his board. Um, but speaking of reds, Frank just had a really nice combo of his own. He's down to his last two viruses, needing two more reds. Got them. Now he's just going to need either blue. He can clear it either way. He clears it on the left, 611 for Frank. And he does take the second crown and the match. And he will move on to face uh, the winner of Inflox and Riggs, who we're going to see in just a little bit.